Serial interfaces are the oldest kind of interface in the computer uh, industry. They are decades old. They come in all different sizes and shapes like the one here which is a mini DB9 on a HP RAID controller. Then this one here is on the same RAID controller. It's uh, another port that uses a 3mm uh, stereo jack. I mean every connector with three, uh, co uh, with three pins works. You need ground, receive and transmit. So stereo plug, plug is fine. Then we have a standard DB9 mail connector on an Ethernet switch. This one is a Sun uh, server. You see serial management, that's the serial port. The other one is for uh, network management through the through a web browser. They use the same RJ45 uh, connectors. Then we have an old deck machine with an MMJ connector. The MMJ is more or less the same like an RJ11, but it has the locking tab not in the center but on the side as you can see on the picture. Then we have a Cisco switch which also uses an RJ45 plug for the serial port. And this one is a tricky one. It's from an IBM Blade Center. It's the a Cisco switch module. It has a, a USB connector but it is in fact a serial port. It has nothing to do with USB. It, they just use, it, use that connector because they did, didn't, didn't have the space for a, a bigger connector. So I made a cable uh, from an old USB cable, attached a DB9 uh, connector to it. And then of course we have all kind of uh, adapters and sometimes you just lose uh, the track and you don't know where is my receive, where is my transmit pin and what I have is a solution for that. This is my special serial port universal cable with diagnostic LEDs or just my magic serial cable. cable. It has a female plug on one side and it has a female and a male plug on the other side. So if you use your PC or a, a laptop, you always have a connections, a connections that fit to whatever device you want to connect with the right adapter and the right cable, of course. It's a simple circuit. It has a switch that switches the receive and transmit uh, lines. It exchanges those to the different pins. And I have two LEDs for uh, receive and transmit lines, uh, a red and a green one. And that's the schematic diagram. Uh, you can see I have two LEDs for each line, a red one and a green one. The red one lights up when a positive uh, voltage is on the signal line and the green one lights up when a negative voltage is on the signal line. And uh, the only thing you have to know is that when uh, a serial port is inactive, both lines or the, uh, the transmit line, I mean, is uh, going to minus maybe 12 volt. Uh, I think 15 is the maximum. Normally you have maybe 5, 6, 7 volt plus minus. So if you just plug it in and no data is going through the port, then you have a green light, which looks nice. And uh, as soon as data starts to be moved, uh, the, the red light starts flickering for every bit that is transmitted. 
Uh, and the rest is just uh, a resistor for each LED and a protection diode uh, to protect it against reverse voltage. LEDs don't like reverse voltage too much. This is a close-up of the entire circuit. You can clearly see the PCB tracks and uh, the components, so that's everything. It's totally easy to, to make and if you want you don't have to make a PCB, you can solder that together with uh, standard through hole components, put it in a box, whatever you like. And then uh, here on this picture I have the PCB, so if you want you can copy that and draw it yourself and make your own PCB. I have no problem with that. So, thanks for watching.